Piracy. Piracy is an act of robbery or criminal violence by ship or boatborne attackers upon another ship or coastal area, typically with the goal of stealing cargo or other valuable goods. Oh, but bucko, drink my boy. There's two big problems with that. Number one, we haven't done that. And number two, we can't do that. And after dedicating yesterday to succeeding at the important stuff, uh, building a lovely grog brewery, I think it's finally time. Build bucko a ship. And thanks to a combination of the incredible simple ships mod and some witchcraft by Scorpio, we have ourselves a galleon for bucko drink. Not just a robo or a sailboat. No, no, no. A full-on proper galleon. Uh, that we absolutely cannot build. Okay, maybe, maybe there's a couple of steps we're gonna have to go through first. And don't forget to hoist the flag. Gotta make it known that this is our base. Oh, much nicer. And now for our action-packed pirate series, we're gonna plant some more farms. Oh, because we need sailcloth, of course. Oh, blessed day do my eyes deceive me. The corpse run that. I have to give an enormous shout out to Ali, who has made uh, this masterpiece, this work of art, the greatest gift for Bucko. You put a corpse in the vat and rum comes out of the bottom. Ferment the bodies of our enemies into delicious grog itself. Oh, this is a <laughs> this is incredible. We can't afford it yet, of course. We need some components there and some steel. But my god, imagine. Imagine if we capture some of those faction leaders. Imagine we capture the Redcoats, maybe even the Queen herself. Emerald Bucko dropped down to level 14 shooting. Oh, sweet Bucko. It's been so long since he's shot anything. At least a day or two. I'm going to queue up the galleon. As soon as we get the galleon, not only can we, of course, go out and commit atrocious acts of piracy, we can actually go out and do some trading. Put Master Cringe to use for once. Talking all hands on deck here. 75 metal. Well, look, take the shipping container apart. Take these skips apart as well. Let's just scrounge up whatever the hell we can get our hands on. Maybe even some of the bear traps, dare I say it. Maybe even a cannon. Although to repurpose that on a galleon makes perfect sense. Oh, shit, that's 45 right there. Oh, crap. Okay, well, we don't really need to do much more. Um, leave the shipping tent in. You good? You good? Hands on deck, please, sire. Uh, literally. 75 sailcloth. Okay, that's a matter of time. That's okay. That's not a problem at all. And before I forget, a lot of people pointed out that if we set up a growing zone around this indisable sewing, they'll come over here and get the ambrosia for us. Ambrosia in this can be brewed down into ambrandy, if I'm not mistaken. It's worth a small fortune, but of course, we'll probably just keep it for Bucko himself, to be honest. <laughs> I wonder if we take apart this sailboat. Oh, we get 30 set. Oh, we've already got 30 in storage. Shit, we get 15 back from that. Oh, it's stretching it too far, isn't it? I hate to say it. I think we're just going to have to be patient. I'll just say a round of applause, please, for appropriately themed crops. Tomatoes, corn, potatoes, coconuts, bananas. Okay, I'm taking apart the... the whoa, my God. Oh, my God. That was in the container? Wait, what? Or was that what they, that, that was what, that's what you build shipping containers out of? Okay. I mean, it's advanced technology. We can't, we can't even get up to that if we wanted to. Well, that was me about to say, I, I, I just want a little bit of metal to build a sink out of. Because I, it's, it's Mr. The, the, Mr. Mr. Cringe, Cringe when they realize he's giving them food poisoning again. But instead, you've just given me like a thousand metal. You have answered my hopes and dreams. But with that, we're not just going to be sat here waiting to get some resources from a trader. That is a gift like none other. I mean, first things first, a bin to cut down some of the food poisoning. Thank you, Mr. Cringe. For 11 components in 936 steel. While we wait for the cloth, we can try and do something about this freaking heat. Arr, the black powder furnace. Okay, we can't get chem fuel. I will take a regular furnace, though. I think that could be quite helpful for keeping the freezer a little bit chilly. We could pop it in here. Sure, I could find room in here. Bang on, there you go, perfect. And then we'll throw down a little, uh, what is it, climate? See, I'm learning the pirate speak. Then we throw down a chiller. We've got ourselves all the food we could possibly need. In fact, we've got quite a lot of food right now. That can connect all the way from there too. Oh shit, okay, we've got to, we've got to refuel it. Cringe, get up. The furnace needs a login. Thank you, appreciate that fella. Oh, blessed day. I love the fact that that's also quite, it's the steampunk theme, but it's so perfect for our pirates. Again, this is a low-tech world. This is, this is futuristic. We're going to see charge weapons and power armor, but I like the theming. I think it's, what, what about like the nuclear reactor? Do I want to spoil this for myself? A pirate themed nuclear reactor would be awesome. And I'm pretty sure this covers it, right? I think it covers all the vanilla expanded power stuff. Doesn't really matter. Let's not spoil it. That's a, that's a treat for future Bucko. Oh, damn. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to see Bucko happy. We had a hard couple of days there where there was no alcohol and we're a pirate cruiser. So clearly, we need that. The buildings were crap. We were getting raided left, right, and center. Look at this. 90% morale. 
77% morale. What's cringe at? 78. And Cyprian are not very useful companion. Though, if you keep building up your planting skill, maybe I could find a place for you here. Oh, we actually right at the end got enough skill to start growing the, uh... The psychoid. Not that it really matters, of course, to the person who got horribly killed by Bucko. It was a mutiny. It was a mutiny. It wasn't Bucko's fault, okay? Maybe some tobacco? That seems quite pirate. Bucko with a pipe? I could see that. I mean, you could use a pipe for the psychoid, but I don't think it's very on brand. Oh, a smoke leaf instead? Pirate selling tobacco to the nearby settlements. I just feel like it's so much more on brand. Let's see how that's going. No, no dream leaf here. Bucko's a sensible man. He knows that we're not going to be able to run a crew if they're all off their face on stone leaf. Well, I mean, they'll run pretty well for about 18 hours solidly, and then you won't see them for three days. It's been a while since we've checked on the captives themselves. What are we looking at? 47% for you. Barely even scratched it. God damn. We need more wealth. What are we looking at right now in terms of our, uh, in terms of our wealth conversion? 35%. I think it's gone up about 3%. Great work. And speaking of which, a courier. Hello. Have you got any more rent to deliver for me? Man, those outfits look amazing, don't they? Oh, speaking of the devil, there it is. Thank you. 300 plunder. We should reopen it. I feel like I can take on some more tenants now that we've got... Now that we've got this place under control a bit more. Oh, look at the grog. Oh my god, hello. You don't happen to sell any bloody sailcloth, do you? Because that would be very useful. Wait, two traders? Hunter from the Pilgrims and... This guy's just a trader. Oh, this guy's a visitor that also sells some stuff. That's not like a proper trader. What have you got then? Light leather, plain leather. Oh, damn, that's unfortunate. I will buy that medicine, though, if you don't mind. Sadly, we wait for the cloth. It's either that or I take down the pirate flags, and I would never do that in a thousand years. What the fuck are you doing, Master Cringe? It's okay. It's, it's minor damage. It's minor damage. It's minor damage. You moron. You have the random chance mod where occasionally he might cook some delicious meals and turn them lavish, or he might burn the whole base down. Keeps you on your toes. Cyprian, what the hell are we going to do with you? Well, firstly, we need to rename you. You need a suitably pirate name. I'm only really good at plant growing. Ugh. You are a Neanderthal, though, which is kind of interesting. Strong melee damage. I haven't got the skills to back it up, but at least you hit hard. Luckily, every single bloody name on my names list could be considered a pirate name because they're all insane. Baby Beans, welcome. Oh, let me, let me rename you properly. Baby Beans might not have the, the, the pirate look, might not have the pirate skills, but you've got the goddamn pirate attitude and a hook, which definitely helps. And sure, we haven't got a ship right now, but we are going to need a crew for that damn ship, and there is a way that we can get, in theory, a new person. If the Sky Lantern Festival is beautiful or unforgettable, 50% chance of a random recruit that believes in Bucko turning up. I've got to try it. Oh my god, look at that. That is a thing of beauty right there. Signal flares away. It's not much of a signal flare. I don't think anybody's going to see that. Uh, I'm sorry. Are you flirting with Master Cringe? Oh, Lily Perfume Lips, you're my only spring. Oh, well, that's nice. <gasps> oh my god, it actually bloody worked. Holy shit. Well, I will happily take that. An Imperial Circus performer named Daniel is willing to contribute. Oh, I've got to see it. I've got to see it. You bought your own hat. Blessed day. Hello. Are you any good? Daniel Jackson. Uh, as in like Dr. Daniel Jackson. Good brawling. Good shooting. Good thinking. Oh, well, that's what I like to see. You're an anguished bard. I said a tortured artist, but in pirate speak. Oh, God, you're a hussar. You're a hussar good at thinking. You are. Uh, that's such an awesome character. Hussar that thinks is so cool, you instantly get a name from my list. Butch Werewolf. Not Werewolf, Werewolf. As in, were, Werewolf. Hello, maybe they're wolf? Oh! Or they're panthers. <gasps> they're tamed, of course it's battle animals. Oh shit! I mean, it's kind of the opposite of a parrot when you think about it, but uh, Bucko Drink can definitely deal with those. It'll help even our odds a little bit, too. Psychically deaf Hussar that primarily thinks and isn't good at anything else. You punch and you think. I just think that's such a cool character. You're more than welcome. I guess we'll build some sort of thinking facility. I mean, we could just use part of this enormous fortress down here, I guess. Oh my god, another person randomly. Hello. A rocker. What do you mean by rocker? We do need somebody good at shanties, after all. I'm gonna trust you here. It's another one of these bloody dread pirates. What's going on? You any good? 11 social, double passion, harsh, agile, cold inclined. You're pretty all right at creating. You're okay at cooking. You're actually quite Mr. Cringe adjacent. Sadly for you. To be honest, I think you'd be far more useful out there in the world trying to recruit other people, putting that social skill to good use, right? So maybe we'll keep you. Maybe you can be the, the first founder of one of Bucko's small little pirate ports. Oh, and look. Look, soon. Soon we'll get our galleon. Oh, yellow monkey friend. 
Oh, swing it, swing in pirates. <laughs> oh God. Well, to be fair, it's not a big loss if they escape or we more likely accidentally blow them to smithereens. Let's be honest, it's going to take a month to actually... What are they doing? They're mining through the walls? What the fuck? It's going to take us absolutely months to actually get these people recruited. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Get ready, squad. I, I want to try and take him alive. I really do want to try and take him alive. Okay. Let's see if we can just knock him down. Let's get the two pirates with the hooks to head over. Mr. Cringe, back off. Bucko, you're here if things go... Oh, no. Bucko, you're here if things go off the rails, my friends. Other than that, I don't want you doing anything at all. Good luck. What, what are you doing? Like, fight. Okay, no, I didn't mean that. <laughs> you son of a bitch. That's oh, my fault. It's my fault. I told her to fight. She did fight. You can't argue with that. She fought, all right. Um, that still counts as a prison. Because it went through the went through the door. Oh, it's not actually enclosed anymore. All right, fair enough. Oh, what's a mess. You can go in the rum room for the next five seconds while I put those bloody walls back on. Enjoy your time there. That's a, that's a pirate honor, to be honest. Oh, God. Oh, sire. Smashed both of her legs. I think I think that new one is fresh. The old one must be an old wound because it doesn't show what did it anymore. Sire wielding her bludgeon deftly, horribly hit Borg held her son in the leg. Great. Two peg legs for you. That's a sign of a powerful pirate. Jesus, look at all the scars. There's going to be anything left of them by the time we actually recruit them. Oh my god, and now a pox. Why have you done that? Butch, Borg, Hilderson, Master Cringe, and Admiral Bucko. We don't exactly have a hospital. I mean, I threw some beds down here where there was next to the medicine for convenience, but wasn't super convenient given that it was in the goddamn fortress. I'm from starvation? Oh, it's the consciousness shit again, isn't it? Oh, shut up. God, I hate Rimwald. <laughs> Haul them in the ocean, Mr. Cringe. Wait, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I have a much better idea. Where was it? I was just me looking in Merriman. I don't think it's quite Merriman. Well, I mean, of course, it depends on your point of view, really. All the resources we got from taking apart the shipping container. We could just throw anybody in that, right? No different to a coffin. No different to a coffin. Oh, glorious day. Once a proud servant of the Queensman. Now just sweet, delicious rum. That is just superb. Look at that. Three days before we get delicious Mr. Branded rum. What the hell are people talking about? I just saw a message. Oh, my God. I just saw a uh, comment saying... There's a duplicate bucko on Sire's tab. This is a bug. This is not me so do alluding to some story element. This is not some special magic thing. This is just the game bugged out. Probably where I've set up the scenario, right? Admiral Bucko is off the map. So what happens is a horrible idea. What if I put a warrant on him? Mech standardized AP rounds. What on earth? Someone wants a tame boom whale. We should do some of these because these are bottler homunculi instead of a persona core. That's very good. Um, what if I put a warrant on Bucko drink then. Bucko. He's not there. He's not real. Buck. No, he's not real. Admiral. No, he's gone. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Would have been kind of funny to see what happens if we've got a second Bucko. It's just the game having a weird day. Don't worry about it. That's not, that's not anything important. What is important, my dear sweet friends, is our ship is almost ready. I'm not waiting any longer. Give me that goddamn sailcloth, Mr. Cringe. Go. Oh, you're shit. No, you, you don't. You stay away. Sire, someone... How could you do this? <gasps> She's trying to assassinate the, uh, the captain. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. She got close to him. She lured him into a game of pool. And the next thing you know, boom, she's trying to kill him. She knew she uh, she knew that was the only way she could stop him by getting close. Sire's so going in. Oh. Well, that's a bad day to be you. You shouldn't have tried to assassinate her husband. What were you expecting? Bucko, I need you to stand down. Let her deal with this. Goddamn assassins trying to kill our upstart pirate faction. I mean, I understand it. It's good business. Oh my god, we need an execution ritual where we make them walk the plank. Oh my god. <laughs> Bucko keeper alive. I need to build the plank first. Oh! God damn you, she got back up. Oh, for fuck's sake. She got back up and then Bucko hit her so hard she died. <laughs> I mean, we could turn her into rum. Traitor's rum. That's what we can put on the bottles. Genius. Oh wait, hang on. You actually are putting her in the rum vat. What's going to happen with that? You can put two people in at once. Oh. Hello. 
Oh my god, we can keep topping it up. We'll I'll have the plank built for, for next time. I found a, a pretty deep part of the water here that we can build a nice plank off. Have a little ritual spot. It's gonna be lovely. What's not lovely is Bucko might die of the flu. 34% spread, 24% immunity. Is that the last? How much medicine we got? We got five medicine left. Oh, shit. Okay, you tend to butch without self. No, 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 no. Tend to butch. Stop fucking around, please, bucko. How's cringe doing? Did that say romance? Never. Uh, <laughs> never in a thousand years. Cringe, come here. You preach health at bucko. Okay, and then hopefully that should be enough. Otherwise, we're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, there's already a legendary danger, pal. It's called Bucko Dying of the Flu, Episode 3. The series might as well just end. Weirdly enough, I think Butch is going to be fine. Just barely, barely staying ahead of, of the flu there. It actually kind of pulling ahead slightly. Mr. Cringe is fine. Bucko, you need to lay the fuck down, man. Oh, God. What is he doing? Okay, okay. No, no nurse for Bucko. Someone else can do nurse. There, you nurse, you nurse, you lie down. So I can help out by building a lovely bin. A lovely bin to scoop up some of this friggin' sandwich traipsing in. And with that, that is everything I can do. That's it. It's over. I might save the last. What have we got? We got three tens left. Bucko can probably get two more. Sorry, we got three people obviously being tended. I think Bucko can get two more tens out of this. So you know what? Captain takes priority. Doctor care, but no medicine. Doctor care, but no medicine. Prisoner's probably gonna die. To be honest, fuck the prisoner. I don't care. We'll turn them into rum. Quality 0%. Oh, no. Is this the death of Mr. Cringe? Okay, second 10 for Bucko. We need something big here, pal. No pressure. 19%. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Party cancelled. Three people are about to die. Christ, you know what? With Preach Health, I think he's actually gonna make it. Look, that's catching up pretty damn fast. Last another eight hours. We can get another 10 quality just as it ends. I think he's going to be fine. I might be a little bit more worried for the other two. No, they're doing all right as well. We might just dodge this. Come on, Bucko. Come on, big man. 3.7. You know what? It's a step up. <laughs> it's actually slightly better than that last quality. How long have you got? Sire's gone on a rampage and decided to punch a whale. That's, um, that's a shit idea. I can't stop her. Uh, baby, get over here, because I think that's going to blow up, and I think that's going to light her on fire. It's going to burn down my lovely plank that I've just built. Of all the animals to fight, could you have not picked something slightly less massive and slightly less explosive? Oh! You know what? I wasn't expecting her to beat that. Oh, my God. You are never going to outrun her. You are never going to outrun her. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> She's fucking Terminator walking. In my haste, I may have got baby beans killed. You've only had your arm knocked off. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. As soon as Sire... Oh, God, she's going for the monkeys now. She's going for the monkeys. Who's going to feed the prisoners? Sorry, the, the patients. They're called patients when they're, they're your own people. Jesus! She's going on a full-on monkey massacre! Okay, okay, there's nothing else. She's chilled out. She's chilled out. Baby's probably going to bleed out and die. Fair warning. Mr. Cringe... Uh, could we maybe risk getting over there with Mr. Cringe? Probably not. How's Bucko doing? Not well. Not well. Contend now. Bucko, get the fuck up. Get the fuck up, oh, bucko, and get yourself tended. Where are you going? 360, walk away. Back to bed. 28% 10 quality. That is a beautiful man right there. Lie down, shut up. Go lie down and shut up. Till the T-1000 over there is done with her rampage. Nobody's leaving that damn hospital. What the hell's that you've just killed? Omega Dodo? Well, they weren't extinct before. They are now. Medical emergency. That's 100% that's my fault. I genuinely thought she was going to kill the whale. It was going to blow up and she was going to need help. But in my in my haste, I have got baby beans absolutely murdered. It's a bit of a shame because we lose eight, uh, eight uh, planting. I'm not bothered because, you know, slob and everything else. You want, you want an incredible character, but that does suck a little bit. She's turned her attention to the crabs. All the crabs are now dead. <laughs> okay, how's Bucko doing? Speaking of things that I don't particularly want dying anytime. Okay, that's fine. Speaking of people, I don't want dying anytime soon. I think one of them's gonna have to make a break for some food. I think one of them's just gonna have to make a break for it. I could send Mr. Cringe. He's at least not so close to dying so fast. We haven't got any meals. Mr. Cringe has been in prison all this time. Uh, sorry, in, in hospi uh, hospital all this time. Shit. Quickly run out. Rustle us up some meals. She's far enough away where she won't sniff you out. 
In theory, the most dangerous meal he's ever goddamn cooked. And he's been on the inside for some time. Okay, there you go. There you go. Grab that. Now pick it up. Put it in your pocket. Bring it with you to the hospital. Fast. Run. Oh, Christ. It's chaos. I've I've lost control. You need to go back to bed, bro. You are going to die. You are going to die. Well, at least Mr. Cringe got some food. At least Mr. Cringe got some food. Here, uh, can uh, you can get your own food here? Come grab a snacky, please. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We put you on wardening. I think you can go out there and you can try and calm him down. Yes. Oh God, please go calm him down. We need to get him back to bed. Me thinking I'd solve the alcohol problems. I've only made it way worse. Go, Bucko. I need you to shut up and come back with us, please. I cannot overstate this enough. I think Mr. Crunch may have just saved the entire playthrough. He's going to go back to his bedroom. He's going to chill out. And then he's going back to hospital. Nice. Self-10 for 26% as well. Holy shit. Sire's over it. Oh, Sire's Sai over her murderous rampage. Frugal, perfectionist, or dunce. Okay. Well, that's interesting. She's fine with eating sludge grub. Which is obviously, nutrient paste. She's fine with minimal... Certainty loss is down by 50%. Perfectionist is not so good. Frugal dunce perfectionist. I don't know if any of these really work. Pure and simple lifestyle. Now, let's go with perfectionist. I think that suits her the most. She has massacred so many animals. Komodo dragon. A whole pack of boars. Yeah, Sire. What is going on, huh? Why are you here? You get out of bed once more. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw you into a volcano. I'm going to find a volcano and I'm gonna throw you into one. How are you looking? You are you you can self-tend. You can self-tend. You're going to die. So Admiral Bucko, how's it going? Enough is enough! I'm feeling the call of the open seas. I want to sail. The only thing you're gonna be sailing on, you big bitch, is on the back of six ball bearers when you're being taken into your damn grave. Actually, you might be alright. Can we turn it another four hours? 85%. I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna live. I don't think he's gonna live. How are you looking? That's off. That's on cooldown. You are probably fine. This is total, total horse shit. We need to see like a. If you get out of bed once more, I'm gonna fucking kill you. I will have you executed instead of just letting this plague take you. I swear to God. Can ten now. We need to see like a fifteen percent, very bare minimum. Twenty-eight percent. Oh well, shut my mouth. Okay, hold on. Twenty-eight percent from a self ten. No medicine. I didn't even know it could go that high. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. <sighs> Cross everything you've got. Cross every last piece of your body. Because my god, we are going to need it. Oh my god. Go! Oh, there goes Borg, Borg Ilderson. And? You motherfucker. Don't you do it. That's happened far too many times before. And I will never learn my lesson about growing herbal medicine. <laughs> that was fucking nonsensical. If someone could do the frame by frame and tell me how many milliseconds he was away from dying, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. I made me feel sick. Felt sick because I knew that despite the fact that Bucko dying of the plague, Sire taking over as captain is kind of a cool story element. Nobody would have accepted it. This series is ruined with the death of Bucko. That's what it would have been. I would have heard that going to my grave. Legendary Space Admiral, Apti Cap Admiral Captain Bucko Drink dying of a bit of a cough would have been quite upsetting. I agree that would have been a shit ending, but it's also RimWorld. Baby. Fuck this game. Get it sent to hell. What are you doing? You're just going around slaughtering all of our animals. I mean... Master Cringe, if I put you on Wardening, you can- Oh, no, you're not- Oh, because it's a violent break. You can't calm those, can you? Well, goodbye, animals. I wasn't that attached to the marine iguana, I'll be honest. If it was a parrot, it'd be a different situation. I think the parrot just walked off. Probably where we shot a massive hole in the side of the uh, pen that one time. Motivated creating. Oh, because he's a tortured artist. Oh, cool. Oh, sorry. Anguished bard. I absolutely hate this game. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> So horrible. Oh, Lord. But, my friends, we are through the looking glass. 160 timber. Get it done, sire. All hands on deck, goddammit. 145 out of 160. 15 more. Here we go. 
Oh my god. A special moment. Oh, hold on. She's got to go get a little bit more. Hang on. We're almost, we're almost there. We've been this patient. We can afford to be a little bit longer. If you botch this now, this is it. My friends, feast your eyes on the one and only Mad Sardine. Bucko's new flagship. What a thing of beauty that is, huh? Everyone said we needed a ship called the Mad Sardine, and there it is. What a be- I was about to say, what fuel do we need? It's wind. It's wind. This is a great day. Let's take it out for a spin. The Mad Sardine. You know what? Put Sire. I think she's better on the wheel. I think she's more suited to it. Do we need some food? We'll take a little grub with us. Why not? Take some tomatoes. Get rid of the scurvy. Honestly, I think we just go out to the seven seas and we see what we goddamn find out there. Maybe we do a little raiding. Maybe we just go out there and explore. Check out some of these tropical islands. Shit, if we find one of the craggy ones, maybe the archipelagos or whatever. Maybe they've got a bunch of rocks that we could mine. No, oh, well, there goes the boom whale. Is that, is that my plank already burned down? You know, I don't give a shit about the damn plank. Bucko's ready to go. Where is everybody? Size in the ship. Master Cringe is on the way over. So is Butch. Oh, this is superb. Sail. <laughs> off they go. Oh, it's a work of art. There it is. We're off. We're off to the deep, briny sea. We're out into the big, wide world. Concepts and pirate outposts. We can land on the mainland, do a little farming, do a little mining, whatever it is we have to do. Do quests, go on these hunts, or maybe a little more piracy. Maybe we go dock at one of these nearby ports, and maybe while we're there, we do a little piracy. Maybe we do a little theft. <laughs> Attempt to sneak into the settlement and procure resources from the settlers. What should we do? Sneak onto a nearby building site to take the builder's supplies. Risk is 10%. Break into remote workshops to get some advanced crafting supplies. Risk 20%. Barge into the labs. Take a persona core. Refuse to el elaborate. Leave. 40% risk. Takes three days. We haven't got that much food. We have not got that much food, but you know what? I'll be back. I'll be back for you. Oh, we can also spread our ideology. Oh, shit. We can spread the word of Bucko to the other pirate settlements. Try and get some of them to to mutiny, to defect to our faction. And of course, the best part about being in the ship is any coastal settlement, we can basically plot a direct route to, right? As the crow flies, the whole way there. The beautiful thing. This is a work of goddamn art, and I'm so happy. And more importantly, the people are going to be happy. Bucko is finally out there on the seven seas with his damn ship for the first time ever. Because we didn't do it once in the last series. Piracy was my goal for today. We were a little bit waylaid by Sire going around killing every goddamn animal alarms reach and Bucko drink almost dying. And when I say almost dying, I mean quite literally seconds off of death. So no, we didn't get to do piracy. But my god, have we built the ship that we need to get out there and do it properly. Look at them. Not you right. Everybody's up in the crow's nest, okay? You've got to suspend a little disbelief here. And I mean, is this alone not worth the effort? Look at that. I've never been prouder of my little crew. Well done, squad. Well done. I'm so happy. That's so goddamn good. What we might need is to start recruiting people with good combat skills so that we can... Obviously, we need a bit more wealth first. Stick them in the base to defend it while we're away. Granted, we haven't got much worth defending right now, but if we're gone and they burn it down, that's setting us back quite a lot, regardless of what we steal. Another thing is they are only six-person ships, so chance are we can build two galleons, go out and have two of them raiding at the same time, or ship, maybe even send, I don't know, two people in, in a galleon each, and then send four galleons, five galleons out at the same time. Lots of coastal raiding, and then if we want to go and attack a settlement properly, we can do that. That's always an option. We're going to need a bit more weapon and armor first. God damn. I am so happy with this. Even though all we've done is almost die today, I'm happy with it. What the hell has happened to my rum? Contains Mr. The Herbalist, who has dissolved, totally disintegrated, 25 rum produced if extracted now. You've also put in Christina, Rocker, Black Claw, that was one of the cats, 58 sugar cane, a marine iguana, 33 spuds, 21 tomatoes, and some green beans. That is going to be... The most disgusting rum anyone's ever made. I assume that's because Christina was working on the farms when she got, when she turned out to be a traitor and we threw her into the vat. So she probably had an inventory full of stuff. I'm sure it won't ruin it too much. I'm sure it won't ruin it. Worst case scenario, we uninstall it, we reinstall it. It's probably, we just empty it out. We tip it over, get the crap out and put it back. It's fine. A little bit of marine iguana for a, for a nice flavoring to the rum. There's some of the research. Now we've got our thinking hussar back to full health. 
There's the stream wheel. Makes sense. Swabbed deck is sterile materials. Jar of lightning's your battery, obviously. Man, complex electronics to get some trade ships, and they will physically land at the colony. We've got to build landing spots for it to make it feel more like a, a living, breathing pirate port. That's going to be amazing when we've got that set up. Honestly, maybe some preserved grub. It's a little boring, I'll admit, but if we're going out on these long-term raids, we're going to need it. Oh, and maybe some uh, penoxicillin too wouldn't hurt. I think after that last mess we've just had, that'll do. The cherry on the proverbial cake as a treat. A little medicine. A little medicine. There you go. Herbal plant. Oh, did that say nobody can grow it? Shit. Well, now I don't feel so bad because I couldn't have grown it even if I wanted to. But tomorrow, obviously, lots of raiding. I think we've got to slap on producing room to make some more trousers, especially given that we're going to have plenty of sailcloth left over. Some proper... Pirate outfits for these people. No more no more of their spooky pirate masks that they turned up with. Get that shit in the bin. Let's get you a proper pirate bandana, some proper pirate britches, and a proper pirate outfit. I'm gonna say a proper pirate gun, but you got flintlock, so that seems that seems pretty appropriate, actually. Thank you for joining me. I can only apologize about the lack of piracy. Bucko was a little busy dying today. Come back tomorrow. We're absolutely going to hit them as hard as possible. I'm really interested to see how these events work where we, where we go and do the light coastal raiding. Not a full raid, just a little bit of theft as a treat. Thank you, of course, to the patrons who provide me with a little bit of theft from them. Thank you to Darth Hawk, Sir Talks A Lot, Fairy Wiz, Shoujus, Liddis, David Turner, Ziggy, Dr. Annie, Jimmy the Dryad's number one fan, Christopher Breers, Lady Jade, Star Six Niner, Tiny Magnus, Shinjian, Little Fisher, Brambio, Ravenlock, Heathen, Jojo Reference, Cletus, Silver, Atticos, Jamo, Griff, Feraldus, and of course, everyone else, the executive producer tiers as well. Thank you for joining me. The perfect theme so far. Almost dying of a totally avoidable, curable disease. And then building a ship. I'm happy. I'm, that's a good pirate day as far as I'm concerned. Thank you as well to Nox Immortalis, Primordial Chaos, Stephen Collars, Janosch, Linus L, and Robber Robbie. Goodbye.